with meteorologist Dan Tomasso. All right, Dan, did you hear about the eclipse? I, I did. I, I know you were off yesterday, I mean, but... Once or twice I heard about this thing. <laughs> Just a few times, right? Now, what I will say is, where I was at yesterday, you could see the dimming of the light. There we go. You could see the dimming of the light yesterday. This and is where Reach Cyber you? Charter Academy in Harrisburg. We had a filter on one of our cameras. Our photog Dave Tristan was in charge of shooting the eclipse, but also getting some of the reaction here of students. And they were very curious about what was happening. There's, there I am tweeting about yeah, it. I was say, you, it look, you look very impressed, Dan. But <laughs> I, I have to tell you, from start to finish, we kept getting questions about how is this working, what's happening, and we could show them from both the satellite picture but also real time too. I mean, you could see the light is dimmer there. If you weren't outside live experiencing it, it was just so weird that all of a sudden, in the middle of the afternoon, the light's dimming, temperatures are dropping. You, you have to wonder, you know, years and years ago, before people had all this access to science information, they had to be scared, right? Something like that happening in the middle of the in day? In the middle of the day, yeah. yeah. Will, will the sun come back? Will the sun come I'm, back? I'm exactly. sure they wondered that. Well, again, we won't be close to totality for a very, very long time. So I hope you got a chance to enjoy it. And now, James, yes. here's the part you want to hear about. Yes, get to spring. Temperatures in the <laughs> 70s. Look at this. 73 degrees at Carlisle, 72 for Lewistown and Waynesboro. Not bad. And Certainly more sunshine than this time yesterday, but the clouds did clear in time to see the eclipse across much of the area. I did hear some complaints on Facebook that, hey, it was cloudy during the peak. Unfortunately, that was just the case. Some places did not have a great view, but at least during some point of the two hours of the eclipse happening, I think most of us did get to see something more blue sky, a really bright day over Lebanon County looking great. But as I mentioned at the top of the hour, we are starting to see some more clouds sneaking in from the south and the southwest. Meanwhile, to our north, high pressure holding strong. And because of that area of high pressure, the rain won't move in immediately so we can enjoy this. Ah. Carlisle, what happened there? We were up to 76 degrees and now fell off the table. 70 in Lancaster, 72 in Lebanon. Winds are relatively light. This is a great afternoon on tap. Probably the nicest of the seven day forecast. So do enjoy it. Our hourly forecast calling for temperatures in the middle to upper 70s today. And when we drop off tonight, it's going to feel almost like a summertime night, an early summertime night, because there is a lot of warm air streaming in from the south. With that, there will be the chance of showers and thunderstorms the next couple of days, but most of the activity for today and tonight stays to our south. Let's show you precision cast. This is hinting at maybe a thunderstorm or two popping up over the mountains. I really think those are low odds. We'll watch it for you, but again, I think most of us stay dry during the day. A stray shower or thunderstorm overnight is possible. Same thing goes tomorrow. We're kind of on the northern edge of this moisture coming on through, so there could be a couple of light showers during the course of the day tomorrow. Not a ton of sunshine on Wednesday, and certainly not a lot of sunshine on Thursday as we see rounds of showers and periods of rain working its way through. Thursday is the dampest day of the week, and when we talk about amounts, they've actually come down slightly, but I still think upwards of an inch through Friday are likely. So the main point is Thursday night into Friday is the heaviest rain. Then moving into the weekend, we do start to dry out, James. So Saturday and even Sunday looking mainly dry. Saturday will be on the cooler side. I know a lot of outdoor plans this time of the year, especially for outdoor sports. Not the coldest day, but I do think the breeze will make it feel chilly with temperatures in the 50s. We rebound pretty quickly though, so I know last week kind of left a sour taste in everyone's mouth about spring weather temperatures only in the 40s. I don't see that coming back. So even though we cool down Saturday, we go break back close to 70 by Sunday. Excellent, excellent news. And I'm sure the kids had a great time with you. They really did. I'm telling you, they had to have you there. Oh, I appreciate that, James. Eric and I really had a lot of fun just noticing their curiosity. Yeah. And the one kept coming up and saying, "This is the first eclipse I've ever witnessed." So excited. And, and how old? And how old was this child? I think about eight or nine. <laughs> just so excited for the opportunity. That's really cool. Yeah. I'm glad you got to do that. All right, Dan. Thank sure. you very much. Up next.